Guys, we're going to do a whole roasted chicken today in that new wood fire oven. You guys want to stick around for this one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. Guys, we're starting off the filming today inside because the sun is like right where I like to shoot right now. So we're gonna make it easier on myself. Just do a little intro inside, all right? Now this video is gonna be a little bit different because Mrs. CJ is gonna be helping me out on this one. As you guys might've heard, I tore a bicep, got it fixed, but now I'm you know, hamstrung with just one arm. So she's gonna be my hands in the next few videos. If you didn't know, Mrs. CJ actually has her own channel. It's called The Bitchy Baker link up there check it out subscribe all that good stuff videos are a lot better over there because she's a lot prettier than me all right so check it out so first thing we did was got this bird out of the packaging took out all the giblets the neck all that crap in there that miss cj hates to get her to touch this bird raw it took a little act of god i swear anyway mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh got it all cleaned up got it onto a tray she violated it with some lemon wedges in the cavity it's gonna help keep it moist in there obviously add some flavor and then she tied up the drumsticks together so they're not you know flailing and lose all that good lemons that she shoved Try right up poop out the lemons so it doesn't yeah. lose the lemons not poop it out. anyway uh and then like the wings in the back of the bird right and then season it up every which way but loose little here they're there got it completely covered in my west coast shake guys this is my own personal rub you guys want to try it it's the taste of the west coast got that lime got that chili little heat cumin good stuff link down below for it check it out we've let it sit for a little bit we put our temp spike thermometer in there this way we're going to keep track of the temperature so we don't overcook that bird we're going to take that bird to 160 internal in the thickest part of the breast, okay? Once it hits that point, we'll pull it out and let it rest. It'll come up to the temperature to the 165, just as it's resting, and we'll slice into it. It's gonna be lovely, okay? Now, I'm gonna do something I really hate doing with these wood fire products, and that's use the quick start guide that comes with it. They have a setup in here called Specialty Roast, where it starts off at like a high temperature for about 10 minutes, and then it drops down automatically to a lower temperature for 45 minutes to an hour or so. I'm going to give it a try because I'm interested in seeing how this specialty roast function works. I'm not too overly optimistic with it, but we'll give it a shot, see how it looks, okay? So if the bird doesn't quite look pretty as I want it to, we're gonna blame Ninja and we're gonna blame the book. And then I'll come back and redo this video so the right way, but anyway. So hopefully the book's right and that specialty roast function really does take it to the next level. That's it, we're gonna go ahead and get out to that wood fire oven. We're gonna add some pellets in there, add that wood fire flavor as it's doing the specialty roast. All right, so we're, we're adding some flavor, we're adding that heat, should be good to go. Nothing left to do, but let's go. All right, stick around, y'all. Y'all, we're outside, we're about to turn this bad boy on, get it fired up. So Miss CJ is gonna do the honors. Okay. Turn it to specialty roast. Now you're gonna push the dial. So the first stage of cooking is 650 for 10 minutes. Push that dial in. Second stage is 375 for 45 minutes. But we are going to monitor the temps with our temp spike, of course, and pull it up if we need to. All right, so press the wood fire flavor button. Hit start. It's gonna go through the ignition and preheat, and then we'll add the bird. Team, we're done with the preheat. Now it's time to put the birdie into the oven. The birdie. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Let me pull out the deal for you here. Right, go ahead. Watch your fingers and toes. I shouldn't be putting it in with my toes, but okay. You want to push? Woo! There we go. Get in there, bro. Whoa. Hold still. She's kind of butt heavy from her lemons. She got a lot of lemons in her butt. That's right. All right. Shut it down. Okay. Hit start. All right. We'll check on it in 10 minutes when it goes to the new stage. All right, two minutes are up. Got a little crispy at the top. That's such a high heat. We'll see how the rest of it goes. It's kicking down to 375 now. We'll uh, see how it goes. I have a feeling the top's gonna be completely blackened and we'll just have to rip off that skin. But we'll see. All right, y'all, we're 30 minutes into this cook. Check the temps here in the breast. 
So it's 88, this is towards the front. I'm gonna grab a temp from uh, the back here. So the legs are tipping out at 179, 180, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this bird around. Obviously there's more heat coming from the back. I need to get the front, you know, I need the front to come up to temperature. So let's flip this around. All right, the bird's mooning us now. Let's go ahead and shut this down. And we'll, uh, we'll get this cook finished up. All right, y'all, the breast is only tipping out at 105 right now. So obviously we're gonna need more than a minute to go. So I'm gonna pump this up just another 30 minutes just in case. All right, and we'll come back and check on it. Hopefully it gets done within the 30 minutes. All right, y'all, it's done. We're looking at about just under two hours to get it to 160 in the breast. I'm not excited about the way that looks. So, it is what it is. Let's get in the house, let it rest, and then uh, we'll uh, give it a try. Guys, we're done. It, it's done. You sure? I think it's done. <laughs> I, I got nothing. Like, it's black and I was looking at the book and I don't know why I decided to try to trust the book. That quick start guide is just crap. Every freaking time, it's crap. Get rid of it. All right? This, the way they do it, the specialty roast is specially crap. It is special. It's, it's special. I just ruined a $10 chicken. Now, I'm sure we'll be able to side with some of it, but the back end of it, or the legs and all that stuff, probably got up to 215 and then some definitely gonna be falling apart. So we're gonna take it in the house, cut it up, see if we can salvage any of it. Obviously the skin is decimated. We're not gonna do that anymore. So what I'm going to do is redo this, probably spatchcock the chicken, use the bake function. That specialty is especially nonsense, all right? So that's that's that. All right guys, let's go cut it up inside the house and uh, see what's what. All right, come on back. Okay, team, Mr. CJ is gonna hack this bad boy up for me. Oh, it looks good inside, though. Yeah? Yeah, it looks juicy in there. Yeah, maybe this is salvageable. Like, it looks fine under the skin. Yeah, it's juicy. Yeah, it looks really good. All right, so we didn't ruin it. We are not definitely not eating the skin, that's for sure. Yeah, the skin is uh, no bueno. Right, if you pull that chicken leg back. Just pull it off? Yeah, pull it off. You'll see it's so done that it'll come right off. Yeah. There you go. That looks really good. All right. I mean, I think it looks really good. All right, cool. Yeah, it looks good. Oops. <laughs> this is why you don't use my knives. <laughs> Jerk. Oh, look, lemons. They're butt lemons. Maybe the but the lemons helped it stay like super juicy. Maybe. All right, so we lost the skin, but it looks like the rest of the bird is good. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely got some carcinogens in there. <laughs> is this cancer-causing chicken? Yeah, just don't eat the skin. Yeah, see, there's the skin. All right, guys, Miss yeah. CJ chopped it all up. It's really good. It is good? Yeah. All right, I got a piece of the leg right here. It is juicy. It's way overcooked. I don't know, I think it's good. All right. I mean, not the black part. <laughs> all right. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> yeah. But it's not burnt. It's a little overcooked. Or at least the leg is overcooked. The breast, there's still juice in it. Mm -hmm. It's salvageable. It's salvageable. Guys, so this uh, fail, yeah, probably. But we can salvage it. Okay, and that's the most important thing is we're not throwing away this bird. We're just throwing away the skin. Right? Y'all, if you want to get yourself one of these wood fire ovens, now I probably didn't demonstrate it as much as you would hope if you're looking for this thing as a new product. Like, oh, that's awesome. Just, I think it's an awesome machine. We've done a couple good things in there. The ribs we did today turned out awesome and that video will be out soon. But uh, the, the chicken we did, don't follow the book. Throw the book out, okay? Just trust me on that one, please. We'll try it a different way another time. When I do do that, I'll link it up in the description or in the description up here, all that stuff. When we do the chicken, 
the proper way where we're not burning the hell out of the skin. This, not so much, all right? If you wanna get anything I use in my videos, the Tim Spike by Thermo Pro, um, knives, cutting boards, merch, all that good stuff, links are all down below, check them out. If you wanna become a show producer like all the awesome people scrolling in front of the screen right now, people who know better than to go buy ninjas, quick start guides, <laughs> hit that join button right next to the subscribe button which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.